Sheridan. To another episode of Ride a Lesbian with me, Mary Ann Sheridan, your token lesbian. Before I get into the topic, I found a little juicy tidbit of news I thought I'd share with you. There's a couple of little stories. The first one I thought was pretty interesting that uh, in England, evidently, they have a problem with crime and loitering and littering, I guess, like much like here and anywhere else, but evidently, it's a, it's a pretty big problem that they felt the need to install uh, surveillance cameras all over the place in public areas and stuff like that. But evidently, that's not enough of a deterrent. So, what they're proposing to do is add megaphones to these cameras so they could scream out at people as crimes are happening, as people are littering, as your dog is taking a doo-doo. Quite interesting. Enough to give me cardiac arrest. Somebody screamed out at me out of nowhere and I saw nobody standing there. Okay, and the other story is it's happened locally here in Florida. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, down in Boca Raton. Uh, this 16-year-old boy decided he desperately needed to get into their uh, apartment complex pool that he lived at, okay? He, uh, there, there was a metal fence around the pool to deter people from climbing over by having arrowheads at the top of each bar, each rail, had this pointy arrowhead. Anyway, this kid decided to leap the fence, and as he was going over the top, he took down part of the fence, in his thigh, okay? What I'm thinking is, that would be a great place to implement England's brilliant plan of surveillance cameras and megaphones! You idiot! Use the gate! It's open! That's that for my news for today. Now, on to today's topic. A lovely lady in New York, Tara, sent me a question and I thought I'd, uh, I'd speak about it today and because it's, it's a pretty a common question. I've heard it before, and, but uh, I thought it was, it was worthy of sharing with you. The question posed was, uh, well, personally, for me, uh, many of my prior uh, relationships, my exes over the years, uh, more often than not, came out of uh, heterosexual marriages. They've had kids and so on and so forth. Some had kids, some didn't, but they were, they were coming out. I was there first. Many toaster ovens. Many toaster ovens. But anyway, yes, I was there first, and uh, the question that uh, I was asked was, did they, uh, was it that they had such a terrible time in their heterosexual relationship that they decided to try a woman? Okay, I'm speaking from my own personal uh, experience, and from what I can tell you, um, in all the women that I've been with that were married prior to being with me, uh, it turns out that they always knew that they were attracted to women, but they lived that society standard that many of us are still living, and, and maybe for whatever reason or not, are afraid to come out for family reasons, for this, that, and the other thing. However, that was the case in, in my personal history. However, there were one or two, you know, that uh, I met that, that I've not been with, but uh, uh, not intimately, but I've spoken to, that, yeah, they, they make that comment that I'm going to, you know, oh, I'm just tired of men, I'm going to try a woman, you know. That um, is a possibility as well. I don't say that that's not, but in my own personal experience, the women that I've been with, that I was there first, um, it turns out that they were finally breaking free, coming out, if you will, and I was the uh, recruiter. You know, that stereotype, that's another topic, the, that recruiting, you know, we get that, give that toaster up and sign on the dotted line and, yeah, you're a lesbian, woo! So lock up your wives and lock up your daughters, there's, there's a lesbian in town and there's no telling where I'm going next. So that's that for today's episode and uh, this, of course, is Friday, so you guys please have a safe and great weekend and I will be back with a special episode, very interesting episode for Monday, hopefully, um, and uh, until then, don't forget, ride a lesbian, bye bye kids.